Are you ready for top water bassing? Stick around. Hey folks, Keith here, Chicken Thigh Fishing. I think it's gonna be a good night. We're gonna throw all kinds of stuff. We're gonna throw them and we're gonna catch them and we're gonna stay till the sun comes up if we have to. Yes, sir. So I'm going to mess around in this little cove here I found until these uh, sea dews get off the water and uh, so they're not bothering me and I'll just mess around in this cove for a little bit and see if we can get them to hit anything. Real good, Smalley. All right, there we go. First fish of the day. Didn't take long. We hit him on the hybrid hunter shallow crank. Just hitting some rocks and some docks over here while I'm waiting for all the sea dews to get off the water and the sun to go down. I like it. Yes, sir. That guy was right under a dock. I ran it by the dock and he came out and blasted it. And I've caught a ton of smallmouth on this lure. Caught a bunch of largemouth as well. But I really like the hybrid hunter because it only dives two to four feet and it's got a real pronounced action because of the hybrid bill. There's another small one. And another one smally. They love that hybrid hunter. I'm sure we'll catch a few more here. It's a big smallie. Oh, I just barely have him. That is a good smallmouth bass. I saw him, like for some reason, the way the light was, I could see him, and he only smashed that about 20 feet from the boat, and I saw him attack it. That was awesome. All right. We're ready to rock and roll now. I didn't get any more smallies right away and I'm looking at this shallow area we're in in front of some houses and this looks like some good twilight top water. What's up? 
toss a pompadour around a few times here. Okay, there's a good boy. Oh, come on, baby. <laughs> That's another good smell. Boy, he busted that up. Man, he blasted that pompadour. Blasted it. Awesome. Oh, right when it hit the water. Right when it hit the water, he just took it. Not a big mad smallie. Okay, come on. Come on. <laughs> Another one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He hit that as soon as it hit the water. We got some big mad smallies. some top water. Wow. I'd say this qualifies as a good top water night already. Look at that. Awesome. So I had a sneaking suspicion this would be good. I'm in a very shallow cove with houses and docks and boats and a lot of rocks. And these smallies are all over it. This cove is loaded with big smallies. to top water fishing with a crawling bait um, you know there's several types of crawling baits my favorite that you see me use most on chicken thigh fishing is this here which is a pompadour by jackal and there are two sizes of pompadour there's the pompadour and the pompadour junior and I always use the big one and it comes in several different patterns but most of the bellies are white anyway and you know any bait with wings like this walks on the top of the water and just moves the water those spoons move water and makes a heck of a racket and when that top water bite is on and those fish are aggressively feeding they just won't stop hitting this bait especially smallmouth now we'll use some other top water baits tonight but i mean right now they're smashing this and i'm hoping to get a big bass on it so So there's two main things I do uh, as far as techniques go when I'm fishing top water at night. I'm about 30 feet out from the shore and what I will do is I'll throw at a dock, I'll throw at a wall, I'll throw at a rock, I'll throw at a bush or a tree and pull it out towards me. Sometimes I do a constant retrieve and sometimes I do a pause, stop and go retrieve. Both are equally as effective. 
but when you're throwing it into the shore in the docks you want to try to get it in corners like where a dock meets a wall or a shoreline try to cast it into that corner and pull it out it's a high percentage shot there and uh, so I'm just pulling out but then also when my boat swings around whether I do it intentionally or it just does it from the current of the wind you know even if you didn't get anything going perpendicular to a wall or a shoreline if you run that parallel down it a lot of times you'll get a ton of fish and when you've got zero throwing at it one way or the other um, but you should definitely throw both ways so right now I'm throwing at it and my boats kind of turning and then I'm gonna throw down it and come this way I'm not convinced the top water bite is done yet, although I haven't had a pompadour hit in a little while. What I'm going to do is switch up to a whopper plopper. And I believe this is a 90 size. Because I can throw this further and I want to get deep into these coves and these inlets. And I'm not sure about the rock, so... I don't want to go in with my boat. I'm getting killed by bugs, so you're going to have to forgive me. All right, I got to kill this light for a little while. I am just getting murdered by bugs. Large mouth on that whopper plopper. All right, so I just came up on a shallow area here. This lake's funny, it's got deep areas and then real shallow areas next to each other. So that's a nice little bass, and that came on the whopper plopper. Another small, another big mass. Oh well, that might be a large mouth. Well, that's unfortunate. I have a treble hook and a fish. And in my knee, fish. And we got ourselves a nice large mouth on that pompadour. Yes, sir. That pompadour is killing it tonight. This is our best fish of the night. All right, just the beginning. Definitely not the fish we're after. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. one. All right. 
tight. Thought he was bigger than that. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Is a mad, mad fish. Man, those smallies get so mad. That was on the spinner. We are killing them. So this lake goes to about 60 or 70 feet deep, but right in the middle of the lake, it comes up to a couple of sunken, submerged islands, if you want to call them, that are like a foot deep. And 20 feet away, it's 50 feet deep, 60 feet deep. So it's kind of crazy. Some serious ledges. And so I'm just going to play around those for a while. I see some spots over here where I'm going to get back to that top water. But I decided to throw my spinner in that shallow water right in the middle of the lake. And we just hit that smallie, so we're gonna hit some more. Through a big bait, looking for a big large mouth. Wow, we are nailing the smallies. Holy cow! Well, that's another big one. Love it. So I'm looking for a lunker this morning. So I threw a uh, oversized crankbait, an oversized lipless crankbait, and that smallie just sucked that in. So another big one. Another one on that oversized crankbait. They sure are hungry. All right, another one. Little guy for that big bait. All right. Here's those two big largemouth. Yes, sir. All right, let's let these cats go. All right, here's those smallies. There we go.
Hey folks, that was a heck of a lot of fun. Long night. They were ferocious last night and they just kept hitting and hitting and that was a beautiful thing. Top water fishing is really fun and I just enjoy the heck out of it. So thank you as always. We really appreciate all our viewers and subscribers and we will see you next time on Chicken Thigh Fishing. Until then, stay fishing my friends.